Hello there, Dan the Weatherman here. Hey, welcome to my weather show. We're going to look at the weather for New Zealand for the coming week. Second week of school holidays. Last week was quite a busy week. You think this week was going to be much quieter? Uh, think again. I think Mother Nature's got different plans. Um, there is a lot going on. This time it's slightly different. It's once again, it's the polar vortex. It's been very active. We've got some very, very warm seas across the Tasman Sea. That acts as fuel for any of these areas of instability moving through. And there's another one coming from the Southern Ocean. That little swirl of color there. On the back edge of our storm system, this area of yellow developing to the south and west of the country. You can see with the streamlines, big little bend or what we call an upper trough. So that's instability. As it moves across the much, much warmer seas, think of it like fuel. You put fuel on a bonfire, boom, up it goes. That's exactly what happens with this instability. As soon as it moves in here, last week it actually looked like this upper trough would move through, we'd see some wet weather first part of the week and the high pressure would build in, but a lot of times with weather it just changes as you get closer to events. This one is so top heavy and is meeting that warm air. Watch what happens to the upper trough, the big bend of blue there. It goes into a big circle or it cuts off. So what that means is not only does it develop into a deep low, but it also gets to tap into the really juicy air that sits up here in the North Tasman, the subtropics into the tropics. And that's just lots of moisture that can boom, come out and just spill and spread into parts of the country. And that'll do so as that low sits and it will linger for a lot longer. Like you have a hose and you're spraying it in one place for a long time, it's gonna dump a lot of rain. So, and we saw some significant weather last week. This could be significant as well in a different way. That will cut off and that will dump a lot of rain to the west of the South Island through the first part of the week. It will eventually go away, but also keep your eyes to the Coral Sea. There could be another system going into next weekend. We have to keep our eye on. So what is going on? This is a different map to look at. This shows the upper streamlines, but it's what I call, or what we call, precipitable water. So it's the juice in the atmosphere. Where you see the blue, the purple, that's the tropics. The air is very juicy. Whenever we get the streamlines connecting and giving us that feed or an atmospheric river of sorts, from the tropics, you just get a lot more juice in the clouds. And then when you have energy to choo, squeeze the juice out, that's when you get lots of rain. So can you see that pipeline of blue? That is setting up and look at it. That's a fire hose of rain piling into the west of the South Island through Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday tracking up to the North Island as the low sits there and cuts off, but it chucks in that big pipeline of rain. So Monday, we get into it. That blue line, by the way, snow level about a thousand meters. Snow level goes way up in this warm northwest flow, 1500 to say 2000 meters over the south up. High sits in place, slow moving. Accordion squeeze, that brings strong to severe gales, very warm nor'westers. Upper teens to the east coast, Dunedin Monday, 17 degrees, Christchurch, upper teens. Because of the warm flow, rain starts piling in, we tap into the moisture from the subtropics, that works its way in, and at the same time, the cold instability then cuts off the low. So the pipeline, it's like you just keep spraying the hose. That could be one, two, 300 millimeters of rain, maybe even more, 400 or so, westland parts of all the way to the west coast, but also some spillover. And remember last week, we had all that snow, a meter of snow. If your snow level goes up and then you start spraying it with warm air and moisture, that will be spilling over and coming down in the rivers to the east of the South Island. So watch the rivers in Canterbury, Rakaia, the Waimak, all those, they'll be running pretty high through Tuesday and Wednesday. It's a yuck day too over the South Island, just showers over the North Island. Snow level then starts to drop down five, 600 meters to the far south on Wednesday. Rain, significant rain then moves to the North Island to eastern areas. Low is starting to weaken, but as a a real mass of wet weather, low then winds up, we then get that real sting of a southerly zipping up the east of the South Island, snow level dropping down below a thousand meters, so places like the desert road, some of the passes of the South Island could be snow, but that's a good zone of rain, Wellington freight train southerly, boom, comes booking through on Thursday. It's still a bit of a yucky day, go to Friday, that is clearing away, so kids are thinking, well, we've had yucky weather, 
end of the week it does get a bit better as that's more likely showers just to the east coast many areas to the west are fine Auckland you're going to do okay west of the south Island. and there finally high pressure which looked to build in last week earlier but because the low is cutting off it slows it all down and lingers and put your eyes to that that's another low but at least with next weekend it will be a quieter weekend for the outdoor plans for a lot of us, but not for long. Late weekend, that could creep down as another deep low. And you're saying, whoa, what is going on? It's because of the warm seas. You've got the polar vortex that's a bit more active, and that just brings all these lows to life. So it's going to be a wet, windy one. Watch for significant rain, the spillover, and that will be another wet weather thing for late in the weekend. But look at this rainfall. Wherever you see that purple there, that's over 100 millimeters. But the west of the South Island, you could be looking easily one, two, three, maybe 400 millimeters. But see how wide it is? That spills way into uh, the Canterbury High Country. Places like Queenstown, you could be looking at close to 100 millimeters of rain. So there's a lot. That will make the river flows quite significant across eastern areas of the South Island. That zone of color there, that's the next area of wet weather coming out of the tropics. So yeah, there's a lot of active weather over the course of the week. Hopefully the kids will get some quiet weather. We do at least look like we have high pressure for next weekend. That's the weather for now.